Ever since it first appeared on TV screens in 1992, Cartoon Network has always been separated into various eras. Each of them would have a certain theme that features various characters from the shows within the time period. One example is the Powerhouse era, which began in 1998 and lasted six years. It got the name of Powerhouse thanks to the background music of various bumpers, which had Raymond Scott's composition of Powerhouse. Taking a look at commercials and promos during this era, you'd notice that they all share a similar theme, which can also be said for the various other Cartoon Network time periods. Most people probably remember certain parts of the network's life more than others, such as the CN City era, which put a bunch of different cartoon characters in the same city, they met with each other, resulting in a pretty cool crossover. However, there's a piece of Cartoon Network history that seems to go unnoticed by many people when they look back at the classics, and today we're going to be taking a dive into this mysteriously short period of time. You may be aware of the checkerboard era that started everything, especially since it's so iconic but the next period of time on the network would go unnoticed by everyone after it aired. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Starburst Era. It's easy to ask, wait, what? Since when was there a Starburst Era? It's not that kind of Starburst, but it's based on the design you see here. If you take a look at the Cartoon Network Wiki, you'll realize that there's not really a ton of helpful information regarding what happened. The Starburst Era was the second era of Cartoon Network. It began in June 1997, and ended on March 31st, 1998, running concurrent with Checkerboard. It was succeeded by the Powerhouse era. The era featured the Cartoon Network logo plastered over a colorful starburst. These promos also often featured an electric guitar riff that ended with a 12-note singer accompanying the aforementioned starburst logo closing. What's especially noteworthy is the amount of time this lasted. There are several different Cartoon Network eras that continue for years, which explains why they're so memorable, but every so often, there's a short one that just disappears pretty quickly after its introduction. Starburst lasted less than a year, and I honestly had no idea it existed until making this video, so hopefully we can find out some worthwhile information about what went on during the CN era that time forgot. Doing a quick Google search on the topic won't lead to very interesting results, which is understandable because this has gone unnoticed by many cartoon fans due to its short length of time. However, checking out YouTube for the answer reveals a video by Grover Kent, who made a really helpful compilation of commercials and bumpers from this forgotten era. Basically, the Starburst era was merely a mini transitional time period between Checkerboard and Powerhouse. One of the most significant aspects to it is the introduction of Cartoon Cartoons, which was a general name for CN shows starting in 1996 and continuing for several years until 2003. Since Starburst was slowly letting viewers familiarize themselves with this new concept, there were quite a few commercials giving a good sense of what to expect. Dexter's Laboratory, Johnny Bravo, and more kept appearing during bumpers and promos. Some featured original voice acting and animation, which was pretty nice. As a tiny example, October 1997 gave us this half-term thingamajig where some cowboy announcer describes a lineup of shows starting at 8am. Cow and Chicken, Dexter's Lab, The Mask, oh, okay, that is really old, and Scooby-Doo. As you see, the top two are the only original ones made for Cartoon Network, while all the others were acquired programming since this is an era that received a ton of those. In November of 1997, one of the noteworthy animated promos was titled Bloopers of the Cartoon Stars, which was uploaded by a YouTuber named Captain BZ. The beginning of this commercial gives us a little star design with a bunch of lines going in every direction, confirming that yes, this came straight out of the Starburst era. Bloopers in live action shows are always funny to see as bonus features on DVDs, but here we have something a little different. The cartoon characters were actually animated to mess up their own lines. But, but just the main street. Yes. Take 42. So next time you're watching Cartoon Magic, just remember some of the hard work our dedicated professionals put in behind the scenes on the home of the greatest cartoon stars, Cartoon Network. Take this sign. 
This was probably just made as a creative way to promote CN's shows, while also being an entertaining segment to watch in between episodes. Another interesting collection of promotional content for these cartoons was titled Meet the Cartoonist. It's exactly what you expect. We see various creators of the classic shows from this time period, and then they talk about what it was like to actually work in the world of animation. It was a cool way for viewers to get personally attached to the show by understanding how the creator made it. Gandhi Tartatovsky briefly describes what goes on in his series Dexter's Laboratory, and while it wasn't a completely new addition to the network during this era, it was only about a year or so old, and many viewers still never experienced it. Seeing him talk about this boy genius along with footage of the show probably intrigued viewers. This sort of bumper isn't done too much in modern Cartoon Network on TV, although it's more likely to appear on the official CN YouTube channel when we see creator interviews. That may be a less effective way to promote shows, however, since more people would be tuning into the live channel. Channel. Johnny Bravo was also featured for Meet the Cartoonist, which made a lot more sense because this is one of the shows that just came out. Much like the previous segment, this lasted only around a minute and provided us with some fun facts about Johnny Bravo, his creator, and what to expect from the show. When we're talking about the Starburst era as a whole, it spawned three brand new properties that would all go on to become classics, or at the very least, fill you with nostalgia. Cow and Chicken, I Am Weasel, and Johnny Bravo all premiered in July. July of 1997, just one month after Starburst's beginning. Clearly, Cartoon Network had a plan by releasing all these at once, which would hopefully result in people constantly keeping up with all the new episodes. That may be a risky move to have them all compete with each other immediately, but it didn't seem like too bad of a decision since it added a lot of new, desired cartoons all within the time span of a few weeks. Viewers would be able to pick what they wanted to watch from the added lineup, and surely there had to be something from those tunes that satisfied their craving for quality content. During the Starburst era, instead of the more modern blue you remember, the cartoon cartoon intros had a green Starburst design and featured the classic logo along with that old time jingle everyone loves. Different characters would sometimes appear in this logo, with a huge emphasis being on Dexter's Lab, Johnny Bravo, Cow and Chicken, and I Am Weasel. Since these were some of the only original animated shows currently on the network, of course they would be promoted the most out of everything airing. But now, it's time to ask the question, why did people even forget about Starburst in the first place? Okay, all this talk about Starburst is getting me really hungry for the candy, but well, there's several reasons this goes completely under the radar of pretty much everyone. First of all, it's incredibly short. Unlike many of the other CN periods, this one just didn't have much time to shine because of its duration of less than a year. If it managed to last maybe three or four years, people would be reacting completely different to it today because they'd probably remember everything about it. Yes, Cartoon Network is the home of the greatest cartoon stars, but just because they're stars doesn't mean they don't make mistakes. It's bloopers of the cartoon stars. Another reason why Starburst is forgotten is because it doesn't seem to be meant for long term. The introduction of cartoon cartoons was huge, but because Starburst was included right between two of the biggest and most memorable eras of Checkerboard and Powerhouse, nobody really looks at this one and says, Oh, I remember, because they focus on those instead. Plus, at various times during Starburst, there could be several elements taken out of the two other eras, giving it less of an identity of its own, which results in nobody even realizing it existed at at all. But the Starburst era was still there, if only for a short time, and it'll probably go down as the least remembered period of Cartoon Network's history. Overall, how significant really is this in the grand scheme of things? Well, because the concept of cartoon cartoons were added for the first time, this is already kinda memorable. Yeah, the featured show lineup was relatively small, especially when talking about CN Originals, but it was basically the start of something big. Even though many of the bumpers and promos go unknown noticed by the majority of people thanks to the era's short time span, there were still some creative commercials that you should definitely explore on YouTube if you're interested in seeing more. Even though stuff like the Checkerboard or CN City era are constantly talked about by old school fans of the channel, sometimes it's just nice to take a look at a piece of forgotten history. It's the most unequivocally doubly named thing on TV. Don't you agree? Don't you agree? Like we're in a mumble. Yes. We have a doo -doo. Yes. That's a no-no. Mm-hmm. Hey, cut two, cut two! 
If you did enjoy this video, let me know down in the comments and maybe I'll do more like it. Also, special thanks to the various people on YouTube who uploaded tons of commercials so that I could use them as footage. The links will be down in the description. But anyway, that's all for this video. Subscribe for more awesome cartoon videos. Give a thumbs up and comment below let me know what you think. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next time.